Hi there, my name's Don Tipping and we're here at Siskiyou Seeds where we grow open pollinated organic and heirloom seeds. And I wanted to share a couple tips we have about making potting soil because that's where you start your seeds. So if you can be successful with making your own potting soil, then you can create a reliable uh, starting medium for your seeds. And of course you can buy potting soil and if that's the best option available to you go ahead and do that but sometimes the formulation of those potting soils changes and you can have different results so we've come up with a system here at our farm that is very simple and it's a compost based system so behind me here is finished compost this is two-year-old compost made from animal manures like chickens, ducks, sheep, cow, and crop residues like garlic stalks and uh, leftover garden waste, weeds, and so on. So our ratio is as follows. We do 10 shovelfuls of finished compost that we'll sift, and I'll demonstrate this after, to one shovelful of sand. And this is just regular sand, and the reason we include this is for drainage. If you don't have good drainage, your plant's roots can become waterlogged and algae can form on the soil, and there's a variety of fungal plant diseases that can affect your plants. So sand is a really good one. It helps with that. This is powdered kelp. Uh, oftentimes you can buy it as a livestock feed uh, addition, and the reason I use this is for trace elements because the ocean has everything in it. And kelp has all of your the types of things like boron and molybdenum and chromium and so forth, cobalt, that you just need a little bit for healthy plants. And then if you eat eggs, save up your eggshells and we crush them and I include these for calcium. And why calcium is important for plants and all life is 70% on average of the cell wall of all living things is comprised of calcium. So we use it in our potting soil so that our starts have everything they need right when they're getting going for a healthy, successful life as a plant. So now I'll demonstrate how we do this. This is a, just a very simple uh, screen made with some wood and half inch hardware cloth. I've included these little wings on the side so that it mounts on the wheelbarrow. And I'm going to go ahead and just shovel some compost in there. And again, I said 10 parts compost. And the reason I sift it is to get the rocks and roots and other things out that may be problematic. And the, the ratios are not totally crucial, but you want to be somewhere in that 8 to 12 shovelfuls of compost to one of sand. If your soil is too sandy, you're just going to have to water your starts uh, a lot. And for us here on a sunny day, like today, it's probably going to hit 80 degrees. We'll water in the morning and again in the afternoon. But again, it depends. If your plants are in big pots, they may not need that second watering. So you can see all this material that uh, didn't go through. And sometimes it's just compost that forms into bigger clods, but you get the idea. Um, so This is it. You can see we've been using this for all our starts for almost 25 years with excellent results. Very simple and expensive and you can mostly do it homegrown. So there's potting soil. That's what you want to start your seeds in. <laughs>